G'day Argy Bargy crew, hope you're having a fantastic day and your family's happy and healthy. Okay, today we're going to do two things. First we're going to take a look at the uh, Hauling Hearts events uh, for ETS 2 and ATS. You can uh, compete or complete the event in either of them and still get the rewards and you get the rewards for both. So. That's number one. We'll look at that. And then the second thing is we'll look at a rigid chassis truck that, or a couple of rigid chassis trucks that I design. And I'll tell you the mods that I use. I'm not going to do a complete build because that can get boring and you don't want to see all that. All I'm going to do is show you how to create the rigid frame and... Uh, how to change the different rigid packs that you can put on it. And then you can take it from there. I'll explain which mods you need to uh, download to create the truck. And then you can take it from there and you can design your own. Like I say, I'm not doing the same normal ones that you see where they go through everything from start to finish. This is just to show you exactly how it's... I've got it to... Well, not exactly, but to show you the basics of how I've done what I've done. And then you can do it yourself and add your own flair to it. But let's take a look at this event that we can uh, now compete in. It's the Hall and Hearts. And the rules are using external contracts with a world of tr trucks connected profile in Euro Truck Simulator 2. So remember, you've got to be connected to World of Trucks. Uh, American Truck Simulator or both. The community goal is to achieve 600,000 deliveries of Valentine presents cargo from any city in any trucking territory. When a player completes 14 deliveries of Valentine presents cargo across any trucking territories in either game, it will complete their personal goals. So you can do it in, like I said, in either game. And you only have to do 14 deliveries, so you don't have to do 600,000 on your own. The rewards are personal players that complete 14 or more deliveries of Valentine presents cargo will gain a unique World of Trucks achievement as well as a winged heart cabin item as a steam inventory item for Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator. So you get the, uh, the um, cabin item for both games if you complete your personal goal. The community goal is when the community goal of achieving 600,000 deliveries of Valentine Presents cargo from any city is met, and if the player has also achieved the personal goal, then they will receive a trucker's rose hanging item as a steam inventory item from their cab for their cabin. The event will be concluded on Sunday the 18th of February at uh, 2359 hours UTC. Now that means as of recording this, uh, you've got 11 days to complete the live events. I have already done one. And later on in the video, we'll go through one of the uh, events. But for now, let's go and have a look at the trucks and how I've designed them in the truck manager. Manager. Okay, so the first one, and I've already done videos on it, is the DAF 105, XF 105. And if we go into the upgrade to show it to you, here it is here. It is a system rigid frame. Quite a nice looking truck. And then the second one that I've done just recently is the Scania S high roof. Oops. Let's do this. There it is. And as you can see, it's a drop side uh, uh, rigid frame. Quite a nice looking track, like the paint job, etc. And I'll leave a link to the paint job uh, in the description, and I'll leave a link to all the mods that I use to make these trucks. All right, so what we'll do to show you how it's made is we'll go to this one and quickly show you how we can do it. All right, so let's go into the workshop. So in the workshop, what you would do is you'd take your normal truck, pick whichever uh, cabin you want. Then in the chassis, 
you would go for any of the tandem chassis. Now, the mod that you use is called the BDF Tandem Rigid Truck Mod, something like that. Um, don't quote me. It's, it's a BDF Tandem Truck. And you're looking for the tandem chassis because they're the ones that you can put the uh, rigid frame, uh, rigid trucks on. Now, the one I chose was this one here, 8x4 tandem, as you can see here. And that extends the uh, chassis so you can put the rigid uh, choice on top, whatever your choice of rigid frame on top. Okay, then once you've done that, you then go to accessories and you're looking for a slot here. It's hard to find, believe it or not. Here, you've got to come around to the passenger side of the vehicle and it's Kazov. Okay, because if you go around to the driver's side, it changes to something else. Changes to chassis cover. So you go to the passenger side and find Kazov. And here are your rigid choices. So you've got your universal, this fella. You've got your prof, prof liner, profi liner. And that's the one that I've chosen. I think that was the one. Yeah, profi liner was the one I chose. Then you've got your cool liner. You've got your container, you've got flatbed, you've got drop side, you've got a logger, you've got the chrome system, and you've got the system paint. Now again, as of this making this video, the flatbed and uh, drop side and logger don't have any cargo on them but i've heard that the guy is making or updating the mod to have the cargo on it i'm not sure if he's already done that i haven't checked recently uh, but he may have so when you go to uh, download the mod from the link that i provide you'll probably find out once you've done that whether or not he's actually uh, updated it so they've got a cargo that goes on them that's why I chose the, this one, is because you can't see the cargo. So therefore, if it has no cargo, you don't know. Now, this comes with trailers for add-ons uh, so that you can do actual jobs with it. You don't just drive around with, in a rigid frame with no cargo. It actually comes with trailers that you can use to get uh, jobs through ETS. All right. So that's, again, that's how you do it. So all you're looking for is, you've got to come here. You're looking for the Kazov. So you go to your chassis, choose a tandem chassis, then go to your accessories and choose the uh, chassis or the, sorry, the frame that you want. And that's how you build it. Then once you've done that, you would do this. You would go out of here and go to the trailers. And again, like I say, this trailer um, pack comes with the mod. So what you're looking for is either the no trailer, so you can drive around in the rigid frame without a trailer. So if you don't want the trailer, but you can still get jobs, okay, or go for the tandem trailer that you can add to it uh, and have an actual trailer on the back of the truck, if you know what I mean. Probably confusing you with what I say. But anyway, what I've done is I've actually created a, a trailer. I think it was this one here, the prof, Profi Liner, four axles, and I used that to get a job with it. And what I'll do now is we'll go to the truck manager. Manager. We'll choose this. We'll drive it. And then I'll show you the trailer that goes with it. All right, so the trailer, we'll go to the trailer manager. 
Manja. And this is the tandem trail that goes with it. Okay, and as you can see, it has the drawbar on it so that it hooks up to the rigid frame. So we'll use that. Now, let's see. Let's hop outside. Yes, it's already connected to it because I was at the right place. And as you can see, it has... Well, let's disconnect so you can see it when it's disconnected. All right, so if you have a look at the trailer, there it is. So it has the drawbar directly next to the, tr the truck. So all you've got to do is reverse back in. It will light up. There we go. Connect it to the truck. Now you have a rigid frame and trailer that you can use. Now if you want to do the uh, invisible trailer so you can do a job, that's quite easy. Let's go out of here, go to the trailer manager. Dismiss this trailer. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll go back into the trailer purchase. We'll purchase a no trailer. Uh, so we're looking for oops, curtain side one will do purchase and put it in Oslo now remember it's invisible so you're not going to actually see it but I'll show you that it actually works because now we go to trailer manager uh, Curtain side cargo no, meaning the invisible one. We'll use that. Yes. Wait for it to load. Okay. So it has been attached already. So we'll go through here to have a look. Now, as you can see, it doesn't appear to have any trailer on it. So now you can drive around and still get jobs. So let me show you this. We'll disconnect the trailer. As you can hear, it's decoupling. All right. Now, as you can see, it leaves a little cone for you so you know where it is when it's in, because it's invisible. So if you're trying to hook up and you, you're thinking, oh, hang on, I can't because it's invisible, just head for the cone. All right, so we'll back up. go and now we connect and now you have an invisible trailer connected to it and now we can get a job so let's have a look for a job just to show you there we get whoops wrong one got to go to cargo market and there you go you have all the jobs that you can get with it right so that's yeah, that's the rigid frame and works well. There's no glitches or bugs that I've found. Uh, and yeah, like I say, I'll leave a description in the, uh, I'll leave the, the link to the, the, the uh, mods in the description below so that you can do this for yourself. So the next thing we'll do now is we'll go and do one of the Valentine jobs. So we'll have to change truck for that. Okay, so let's get a job. So you've got to go for external contracts for these. Like I say, I've already done one. And here we go, this will do. All right, so we're going to take a uh, Valentine's Gifts from Oslo through to Alborg. 
and it's saying it will take us 10 hours but a lot of that will be on the boat so or the ferry so it won't be that long 450 kilometers uh what's the weight oh it doesn't tell you the weight oh yes it does there we go 23,560 kilograms begin delivery Okay, the job's pickup is an hour and a half away, so I'll um, meet you back when I pick, I'm ready to pick up. Turn right. Okay, so here we are at the pickup. Continue straight on, and then turn left. Picking up from the dock turn side left. here. And there's the trailer. And the Valentine's gift trailer. Okay. Now we're on my realistic profile at the moment, so we have to be very precise with the coupling of the trailer or else it won't lock in. But we did pretty good. There we go. Truck love. Pretty snazzy looking trailers, eh? Looks like a tattoo I've seen on someone. Anyway, okay. So, off we go. Now I'm using the free head tracking that uh, I made a video about. I'll leave a card up in the uh, right hand corner to link you to that if you're interested in getting yourself the free head tracking. If you've got a uh, webcam then you've got free head tracking with this software. No, it's wrong here. Yeah, like I say, the, um, the events, you've got 11 days to solve the making of this to complete the uh, events and get your little rewards. And yeah, as far as the rigid truck goes, I'll, like I say, I'll leave the links to all the mods that you need for that in the description below. <clears throat> it is a Steam mod, so it's a safe mod to use. And it will be updated uh, as well, automatically updated as it is updated by the creator. And hats off to these guys that do all the creating of these mods. They spend a lot of time, especially the free mods. They you know they spend a lot of time and effort making the mods, and they're doing it for free. You know that, like I say, we should all give them a big thank you on their. Um, mod page on Steam so they know that they're appreciated which I will be doing after I make this video oops speeding carried away talking to you guys and I'm speeding Yeah, I like the uh, Scania S model. Comes up really well, especially with this paint job. You, the paint job that you get with this, um, also you can paint, if you've got an own trailer, you can paint the uh, your own trailer in the same colour scheme. I'll show you that at the end of the video. Uh, I'll hook my own trailer up that's got the same paint scheme on it, so you can see what I mean.
Yeah, I um, saw an article from SCS about misleading information and untruths that are being put out by some content creators. And I have to admit, I've noticed it myself a lot lately. Um, so be careful what you um, what you read and what you watch. To whether you know whether or not it's the truth about certain things that are being said about ETS and ATS. Um, there's one cre content creator in particular, I'm not going to mention names, who is recently coming out with a lot of, um, let's say, hypotheticals um, and trying to make them look as so though they're actually, you know, their actual truth or things that are definitely going to happen. All I can say is it's, it's designed to do get more views, it's clickbait, it's working for him, he's getting heaps of views and getting heaps of subscribers because of it, but I just think it's a little bit um, misleading is probably the best word to be doing that. I try to keep everything I do on the channel um, factual, I don't like to mention anything that's just hearsay because it could be like I say misleading and I don't want to do that with my followers I want to make sure that everything I tell them is is factual I mean if I think there's something that I would like to see in other words offering an opinion I will let that be known that it is an opinion and that it's not something that anybody has told me is going to happen it's just something I would like to see or my opinion on something but uh, like I say, this content creator and a couple others are, are um, putting out stuff and making it look as though it's actual fact when it's not. So be careful. Take everything with a pinch of salt. I mean, like I say, for the SCS to uh, come up with a, a, a blog post to sort of let people know that it's happening means that, you know, they realise that... Uh, what this certain content creator or certain content creators are doing is misleading. So, yeah, just a warning. Be careful. Love how it echoes in the tunnels like that. people keep commenting on the fact that I don't have the button box here at the moment because I'm waiting on some new parts this was a prototype that I had sitting here uh, that I'm making uh, or was using as a test uh, to see how the components would hold up I found a few problems with some of the toggle switches so I've taken it off uh, while I'm waiting for the new toggle switches to arrive and then when I put that together, I'll be doing some further testing on it to make sure that the components stand up to uh, the torture that they're going to get. And then I'll be uh, putting them up for sale. So if you're interested, there'll be the standard size one and the large size one. I'll do a video on it once they've been uh, tested and, and uh, with the pricing and whatnot. I'll keep the pricing as budget friendly as I possibly can. 
uh, as long as you know I make a, a couple of bucks out of it so that I can continue to do it that's all I'm really worried about and hopefully uh, that way you guys can get yourself a cheap button box which is good quality because the ones that are on the market at the moment are way too expensive but hopefully like I say within the next couple of weeks I should have uh, put the prototype together again with the new components tested them and then I'll uh, I'll produce a couple of the uh, the actual uh, marketable product and do a video for you speeding again and I'm just following the traffic not looking at my speed and they're all speedy there's anything uh, that I've forgotten to mention that you need to know about from the video like uh, about the trucks or whatever just leave a comment down below and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can They're having a rest. track in BTS2 is uh, the Scanias for me are the my, you know a, a couple of them are my favourite trucks I've got the Scania S high roof this one that uh, I really like and the other one is the um, it is a Scania I think it's a T T model I think it is but I'll show you that um, in another video that's upcoming. What was that warning about? Did I crash into something? Or was I done for speeding? No, I wouldn't have been done for speeding. Uh, headlights, probably. Got um, headlights on. That's probably what it was. Too busy talking to you guys to notice what it was.
beautiful scenery around here. Whoa! <laughs> Oops! Gotta watch that. I do that so often, trying to get you guys good, good views of the scenery to end up crashing. Should learn my lesson. Like I said, beautiful scenery. The fjords and whatnot, the rivers. too far to go to the uh, ferry. Might have a quick check on the map, see where we are. We're going to do it without crashing. Yeah, not far at all. Christian Sand, I'd say that's where we're get, getting the ferry at. I'm pretty sure last time I was in Christian Sand, that's where we uh, got on a ferry. Hmm, a bit of traffic on that side. Makes you wonder why they're all leaving. <laughs> There's something they know that we don't. That's probably what it was that we went through before, it was a toll, it wasn't a fine at all. a point of interest I should have taken a photo. Oh well, too late. Yeah, it's a bit difficult for me to get used to the buttons <clears throat> because I've been so used to using the button box now I've got to try and find where the whoops where they are. <laughs> <laughs> um, on the keyboard and on here and I get a bit confused so uh, if you see me fumbling around to try and find a button that's why Down for, mate. Turn right. Checking that trail and make sure we weren't getting caught up on anything. Oh, people have been asking me too what. Uh, motor or engine I have in the uh, Scania S. It's a 730 horsepower uh, to 
30 Great horsepower song. Scania um, V8. And it helps to put it in first gear to get off the mark. Continue straight on. So the ferry's just down there, there it is. Get Off ready to the right. To turn right. Turn right. Get ready to turn left. And then we'll be getting on the Polaris Lines ferry. Turn left. And then continue straight on. the sound of this engine, the V8, big thumper. And we just got to make sure we go to the right destination. There's only one, so we can't make a mistake here. Or can we? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right. Stalled it. Okay, an hour and 28 minutes to the drop off. We're not far at all. How are we doing on fuel? Probably just have enough fuel to make it. Denmark. Should I get some fuel or should I risk it? Ooh, I'm going to risk it. Should make it. Looks like I've got plenty of fuel there.
thing I've noticed with the uh, the head tracking is if I go to scratch my face or my nose or something, it sets it off. <laughs> it tends to change direction really easily. So you've got to keep your hands away from your face. Oh, these tyres to the, uh, the the orange lining, the lines on them are actually glow in the dark. When it gets dark, they actually um, glow orange. industrial uh, area around here. <clears throat> First couple of houses I've seen since we got here. Night has fallen. drop off the Valentine's gifts. Turn 
where are we going? Oh yeah, nice easy one over there. I like it when a plant comes together. Voila! A bit off, but uh, nobody's perfect. <laughs> it's my excuse anyway. All right, so that's how you complete one of the uh, event jobs. Quite easy, just like any of the other jobs that you do. But it's getting me one more. As you can see now, I've got two in my kitty. Two out of the 14. And then once I've completed them, I get my little uh, item from SCS to put in my truck. And what was I going to show you at the end here? If we've got, oh, that's right, the trailer. Yes, let's have a look at the trailer first. We'll get into the truck, move it out of the way so we can connect the trailer. And at the same time, what we'll do is we'll change the time of day so it's daylight again so you can check the trailer out all right so let's get the trailer hooked up uh, where is it uh trailer manager manager there it is that's the fella we'll use this one now where is it it's in Istanbul and we're in Denmark, so it's nowhere near us. But I'll show you a trick to hook the trailer up where you stand. All right, so we'll go here. And as you can see, no trailer. But what we'll do is we'll jump outside the vehicle. And then we'll go back into the trailer. Now we have, sorry, the truck. Now we have the trailer connected. And as you can see, it matches the uh, paint job. Pretty flash, eh? So yeah, I'll leave a link to that paint job if you're interested in the uh, description below. Along with all the other uh, links to the mods to make the rigid trucks. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and share it with your friends. If you haven't already subscribed, uh, please do so. It helps me out with the algorithm on YouTube. And yeah, like I say, if, hopefully if you did enjoy it, uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.